You are watching Global Surge Worship Center Online. Welcome to Global Surge Online. Thank you for joining us this day. Marami pong salamat. This past week has been a challenge for each and every one of us. But always remember, God is good, God is faithful, and He will never leave us nor forsake us. This week na darating po, or this coming weeks, this is a great opportunity to be encouraged from God's Word and be an encourager. Psalms 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. How to maintain our priorities during this time? First, through our discipleship network, strengthening all of those that you are discipling. Sa simple pamamaraan, you can simply call them, text them. Sa pagkakataon din naman na ito na physically, hindi mo mamimit ang dinidisciple mo, samantalay natin yung social media platform through FB Messenger and other social media means. Marami tayong oras to get online, to meet yung ating mga dini-disciple. So let's maximize this time to encourage one another through online. Second, how to maintain our priorities, strengthening each other through our C groups. You can meet your C groups kung it will permit you to meet physically sa lugar ninyo. Just make the necessary safety precautions. If not, you can also do the online platform, FB, or other social media means na makapag meet kayo online. I will show you a photo. Ito po ay si group nila Ma'am Tricia. They met online last Saturday bago pa po magkaroon ng lockdown. And it's encouraging. Kung sila, they can do this. I believe lahat ng si groups na hindi makapag meet physically, they can do this. So, let us maintain our C group network. Meet with our C groups and C group leaders. Maganda rin po itong pagkakataon na paghaluhaluin din natin yung uh, pagkakabuo ng ating C groups. Maybe this is a good opportunity. Definitely a good opportunity na we could have bagong C groups ng pamilya or different age groups. Whatever will be able to napapayagan po tayo 
to minister with each other through our C group network. Tandaan din po natin. Bagamat nalilimitahan po yung uh, paglalakbay natin, pag-travel natin, going to places, don't forget, within your community, within your neighborhood, marami po tayong mga kakilala, kamag-anak, those people that uh, we know, our neighbors, that's an opportunity we could start, organize, uh, develop new C groups within your communities and vicinities. So I pray that during this time, this will be an opportunity for you to minister and share the gospel through your C group. It's a blessing. We can have our online weekend service. Psalms 72, verse 17. May the king's name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun shines. May all the nations be blessed through him and bring him praise. Psalms 113, verse 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. And in John 4, verse 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. It's a blessing. We can worship in spirit and in truth in our homes, in our offices, in our own places during this weekend's naapektado po tayo. Let us also worship in spirit and in truth through our giving. Huwag po natin hayaan na ang sitwasyon natin ngayon o panahon na to, ay malimitahan tayo sa pagsamba at pagpuri sa Panginoon sa pamagitan ng ating pagbibigay. Malakay 3.10 It's very clear. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Hinahaman ko kayo na subukan ninyo ako, ang Panginoong makapangyarihan. Nalin ninyo ang buong inyong mga ikapu sa bodega ng templo upang may pagkain sa aking templo. Kapag ginawa ninyo ito, padadalan ko kayo ng ulan at ibubuhos ko ang sobra-sobrang pagpapala. Talk to your disciples, encourage them to continue giving. Your C group leaders can collect your tithes and missions every week during this time. Also, our finance department has provided some guidelines to help you manage giving through your C group network and online. I'll be giving that details after our online worship service. Good day everybody. Welcome to our worship service. Wherever you are, even in the comfort of your homes right now, join us as we rejoice because this is a day that the Lord has made and we're going to worship and praise our living God.
welcome to our uh, online service. Ito po ay uh, uh, unusual natin uh, ginagawa because of uh, sa ating pong uh, situation about the government is restricting uh, yung gathering. Uh, we are doing this. Uh, even in the midst of this, uh, this will not stop us also to hear the message. That's why ito pong online na to is uh, a, I would say, a, a benefit for us na we have this uh, technology. So, kumusta po kayo? Uh, ito pong uh, nangyayari ngayon na pandemic sa ating pong bansa, even sa buong mundo, ay uh, talaga nga naman eh, ito po ay uh, laganap na. Maybe you are uh, watching the news. Uh, lately, binabantayan kung nasa na ba tayo. Ako, once in a while, there's an update in my phone kung ano na ang number ngayon uh, dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, situation is ito po ay global. Uh, and uh, every country is taking this uh, seriously. Kung ano nangyayari. And we have seen a lot of uh, happening. Kung ano-ano pang mga pangyayari. And uh, this create a, uh, some uh, chaos in other country. Uh, alam naman po natin. Uh, uh, Sinasabi nila kung ano na yung mga numbers that this has been uh, affected. And uh, they are predicting, actually, they are predicting that it will escalate. So I don't want you to cause some panic, more panic on you, but uh, this is uh, what is happening. And uh, because of this, um, we as a Christian uh, should deal with this in, uh, differently in how we deal this uh, sa ating pong uh, respond to the situation. And uh, all of us here has a uh, different perspective. So uh, we are uh, doing this message for para sa atin. So ano ba yung dapat natin gawin? And uh, what will protect us from the fear? Ito po mga coming days. Uh, ano ba ang gamot? Mayroon ba itong uh, gamot? Or uh, how can we remove uh, this fear? Uh, I would like to read the passage. Ito po sa uh, 1 John 4.16. Sabi po dito, um, We know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in His love. God is love and all we live in love live in God and God lives in them. As we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not afraid on the day of judgment but we can face Him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is not free, it is not fear of punishment, for this shows that we have not truly experienced His perfect love. We love each other because He loved us first. Alam niyo po itong fear, ito po ay hindi disease, pero meron pong mga negative effect po ito sa atin. Uh, una po dyan is a fear can intimidate. Ibig sabihin, wala, na, wala, wala ka na magagawa. Parang huminto na yung mundo mo because of this fear. Uh, fear can consume person's thought, yung pag-iisip. Uh, I mean, uh, sa atin po, ewan ko, meron ba sa atin dito na wala nang patayan yung TV natin, ano? Lagi nakatutok na lang sa news. Ibig sabihin na uh, ang kanyang isipan, lahat ng iniisip niya, nakikita niya, narinig niya, kundi yung nasa balita. So that causes him more fear. Fear can bring confusion. Tama ba yun? Eh, lalo po ngayon sa social media, eh, napakarami na pong mga naglalabas sa mga kung ano ng balita. Eh, may narinig po ako na ang saging daw po ay gamot. Ang alam ko lang po, ang saging ay gamot sa tagyawat. Pero hindi ko alam na gamot din pala to sa corona. Uh, marami po, marami po. Iba't iba. Marami mga pamamaraan. Marami sila sinasabi. So it brings confusion to the people. Fear can paralyze a person. Ibig sabihin nun eh, ayaw na gumalaw. Hindi na siya, parang hindi niya na makita yung, yung sarili niya. So lahat po ito is something na nangyayari po 
uh, actually there's a, a story in the Bible that uh, tells about yung si Kristo kasama niya po yung kanyang mga disipulo. Uh, basahin ko po ito sa Matthew 8:23-26. Sabi, "Now when he got into a boat, his disciple followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Then his disciple came to him and awoke him, saying, "Lord, save us. We are perishing." But when he said to them, Why are you fearful, O you little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea. Then there was a great calm na nangyari po yan. Ito po ay kasama na po nila si Kristo. Just imagine, at that time, magkakasama na po sila all throughout. Makita nila pagaling si Kristo. Makita nila naghimala. Pero at that moment, dahil po sa bagyo, eh, nagkaroon po sila ng takot. Hindi po nila naisip na ang, sino ba yung kasama nila? Ang kasama nila, ang Diyos. Pero at that time, ang fear po ay pumasok pa rin sa kanila. Sa totoo po, it happens to us. Tama ba? Have you realized this in your life that you, you face this fear in a different situation na minsan nakalimutan mo na may Diyos pala? Na sometimes, every Sunday, you go to the church, and on the weekday, something happened, pumasok ang fear, and you forgot about God. When we fear our situation, we have forgotten our Savior. Tama po ba? Sometimes, ito po, ito po, ito po yung nangyayari, nangyayari po sa atin. It happened sa disciples, this happened to us, right? In, in a situation right now, when you receive this news about this virus, have you forgotten our God? Nakalimutan ba natin? Pwede natin ang Diyos? Alam nyo, a believer who is a mature in their faith is like a tree. Ano ba yung puno? Pag malalim po yung ugat niya, the more na malalim po ugat niya, the more na stable po ang puno ito. The same words with us. To be a mature Christian, dapat po lumalim po yung ating pong paniniwala, yung ating pong pananampalataya sa Diyos. And these are the things that natin po pag-uusapan ngayong umaga. Meron po mga karakteristik po ang magiging mature na believer. Una-una po is uh, maintain an eternal perspective. Maintain an eternal perspective. God is in control. Naniniwala po ba kayo dyan? God is in control. Can you say that? God is in control. Alam niyo po, if you say that God is in control, no matter what will happen, hindi natin alam kung saan po papunta ito. If worst case scenario, kung ano man itong mangyayari, hindi natin alam kung it will last for a month, Six months or a year, we don't know. But God is still in control. Alam mo, ang perspective po natin, it's happened to Paul. Sinabi niya po din sa Philippians 1, 24, 21 to 24, For me, living means living for Christ. And dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So I really don't know which is better. I'm torn between two desires. I long to go and be with Christ, which would be far better for me. But for your sakes, it is better that I continue to live. Yun po ang sinabi po ni Paul, no? At that time. Ang perspective niya po, it is better for him, ang kanyang perspective is to be with Christ, no matter what, kung ano pa mangyari. Ito pong mundo na to, hindi po yung, ito po ang ating tahanan. If you are a believer, ang ating pong tahanan is a piling po ng Diyos. That is, that is our perspective. Hindi po natin alam kung saan papunta, but we as a believer, we have, we have promised from God na hindi po tayo iiwanan. Pangalawa po, a mature believer uses wisdom and common sense. Proverbs 3, 24 My son, do not lose sight of this. Preserve sound judgment, discernment, there will be light to your soul and adornment to your neck. Then you will go on your way safety and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you rest, you sleep with sweet. Uh, you, you sleep will be sweet. Alam mo, ito po'y pangako sa atin ng Diyos. Alam mo, binigay po sa atin ng Diyos na sometimes that it will help us sa ating pong buhay. Ayaw po natin na tayo po ay madapuan ng itong virus ito. A mature believer use wisdom and common sense. Alam niyo po, binigyan po tayo ng sound mind through His Spirit to make the decision that can help us to protect us. Una po dan is, 
Don't react with panic. Alam niyo po, kung naman, no? don't react with panic. Uh, kitang-kita naman po natin, sino po sa'yo napag- nakapagpamili na sa mga grocery. Abay, pag uh, nag-grocery nga naman, hindi natin alam, kulang po ang isang cart. Yung iba, dalawang cart. Kami po ay nag-grocery, ibang tao, nakikwento po, dalawang oras na sa pila. Eh, kami po ay wala pong oras na, wala akong tsaga pumili. Naghanap na lang po kami sa mga malilit na tindahan. Kasi pareho lang, di naman yun eh. Pero hindi ko maintindihan. People are so, nagpa-panic. We should, don't react with panic, respond with a purpose. Respond with a purpose. Okay? Alam mo, minsan, yung, yung, yung panic natin, yung panic ko nakakahawa, you know, dahil nakita natin na ginagawa nila, gagawin din natin. Ginahawa. Pangalawa po is, don't endanger yourself or others. Alam niyo po, marami na pong uh, ipinapalabas na kung ano-ano pong mga bagay to protect yourself. Ako po ay eh, meron pong mask dito. Yan. So, I, I follow that. May mask, tsaka alcohol. That is also to protect yourself. Sinabi po yan. Hindi mo na pwede sabihin, ay, nako, kristyano ko, hindi ako natapuan yan. Ah, palagay ko, hindi naman tayo binigyan ng isip ng Diyos para somehow, binigyan tayo ng decision to guide us ng Holy Spirit. So, Pangatlo po, don't make decision out of fear. Ano mo, pagka ikaw ay nagdesisyon dahil sa takot, minsan, imbis na, na nasosolve yung problema, nagiging worse pa siya. I like this verse, 2 Timothy 1.7. I want you to, to mark this in your Bible. Isulat nyo po ninyo. Gusto mo, just, just for us to remind. I like, I like this Verse that to also to remind me, and I hope this will help you, 2 Timothy 1.7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. Ulitin ko po ah. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Ibinigay po sa atin ang Diyos yan eh. Ang Diyos po ang nag po sa atin. Pangatlo po is uh, a mature believer fights fear with faith. Fights fear with faith. Alam niyo po, yung ating pong takot dahil po sa ating pananampalataya, dahil po sa ating pananampalataya, na so surpass niya po yung takot na yan. So if you have a fear at kung wala kang faith, just imagine anong klaseng buhay ang meron ka. Even in this midst of pandemic, our faith in God is so big. If God is in control, okay, God is in control. That is something na ating pong pinangahawakan. You know what I do? I remember when, nung ako po'y bata, uh, ako po'y takot, minsan sa, nung time na yun, ako po'y lagi intusan, uh, pupunta dun sa baba ng bahay dahil madilim. So at that time, my mother told me, alam mo, anak, uh, wag mo isipin yung takot. Sabi niya, kumanta ka. So, Tinuro sa akin ng mother ko, I was singing a song, and habang bumababa ako sa agdala, dalawa ko yung kandila kasi wala po kami ilaw no, sa Samuanga, kinakanta ko po yung Sunday school song. And that helps me. You know, in times of this, you know what? Why don't you sing praises to our God? Those praises help our faith grow because those are promises from God. Fight fear with faith. Alam mo? Ating mga, you, uh, you read your Bible at this time sa inyong pamilya, sa kasama nyo, inyong mga pamilya, the passages, those, those passages, the Word of God is the one that will strengthen us. Those are the things that will fight fear and increase our faith. Number four po is uh, believe in the power of prayer. Believe in the power of prayer. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. This peace will guard your heart and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Alam po, do you believe in prayer? Do you believe in prayer? I believe in prayer. Alam mo, at this time, we as a church should join to pray on this situation. Because only prayer is a, is a tool that we can use that God will intervene what is happening sa buong mundo. Sa atin po ngayon, 
sa ating buhay, when you pray, how do you pray? Very question. Do you just pray for your family? Have, do you pray for your neighbor? Do you pray sa ating mga government? In the, in the, in the news, yung mga people who are in the front line, do you, do you pray for them? Sa atin po, something na I believe the prayer right now, tayo po dapat nagkakaasa, nagkakaisa as a believer. We should pray hard for God and ask God to be, to intervene, to be in control of everything. So, believe in the power of prayer. A mature believer, number five, is a continues to serve. Alam niyo po, itong ating, uh, ito pong virus na to, it is a antisocial eh. Uh, isip niyo ba yan? Uh, bawal po ng uh, merong uh, social distance. Pero I believe, ito pong, uh, ito pong situation na to, it, it will not be able to disconnect us. But even, dapat ito po ay will, will help us to connect to each other in this situation. Ano po? Even though, ito po nangyari po sa atin, uh, sa mabas, wala tang trabaho, stay at home, we can still find a way to be able to connect. That we can still serve. Ito po isang bagay po na number one po that we can uh, be continue to serve is to connect through prayers. Sa atin po, uh, we pray for each other. Uh, sa atin po na you, you ask somebody, oy baka meron kayong uh, prayer request dyan that we'll be able to connect. Sa atin po mga prayer warrior. Meron po tayong mga prayer warrior po dito sa ating church. Number two is connect through discipleship. Ito po isang bagay na we, will, we, we can test yung ating pong uh, discipleship uh, because of this technology. Uh, pwede po sa ating mga telepono, sa through media, sa, sa Facebook o ano man yan. We can still continue that. Eh, wala naman tayong ginagawa sa bahay eh. Di ba? So we're able to, to accomplish that. Connect through our uh, C group. Which is that happening? Ito po yung nangyari na po sa ibang mga C group na online. Uh, just a, a few days ago, nagkaroon po kami ng, uh, ng meeting din with the, the pastors. Uh, yung technology na Zoom. Uh, there were about, uh, I don't know, even maybe 20, 20 plus pastors at the time nagkakasama. Sabi ko, wow, diba? magkakasama. I have witnessed to so one of my wife doing the, the small group at the time. Uh, kanilang C group. Uh, maingay nga lang sila. Pero, alam mo, maganda, nakakati, nakikita nila. They're able, parang pakiramdam mo, nandiyan pa rin sila. So, you can still do that to continue to serve. Connect through outreach. Maybe this time, sa inyo pong mga neighbor, ito po yung time na we can still reach to them. Maybe God has allowed you in this situation to be able na makita po sa atin how we respond to this situation. Nakikita ba sa atin, as a believer, yung hope? Maybe yung kapitbahay natin, masyado nag-aalala. Maybe at this time, we can be able to minister to them and talk to them and ask them, hey, uh, do you, uh, meron ka bang, uh, how can I help you? Can I, can I pray for you? Things like that. So, this situation, we can still, it is not an excuse for us to be able to continue to serve. Anything is possible na pwede natin gawin out of this situation. Sa atin po, the question is that arises here, are you fearful or full of faith? Are you fearful or full of faith? Ito po mga things that we have talked. Somehow, you have to ask yourself, does this situation make you, make this situation made you closer to God? Ito ba ang nangyari? Lalo bang lumalim ba yung pananampalataya mo sa Diyos? You have to ask yourself. Alam mo, I hope in this situation, through, through this uh, message, come to realize of all the fear that na experience mo. I know there's a lot of situation nangyari. Maybe some of you, hindi ka nakapasok sa trabaho, iniisip mo ano nangyari na, ano pa sa pagkain, ano na mangyari dito. And if they, patong-patong na lahat na nag-iisip ng fear na yan, but remember this, God is in control. 
Kung anak ka ng Diyos, God is in control in your life. God is in control in your situation. You have to believe that. Some of you right now may be asking question, hey, that is your prayer. I hope this message can help you strengthen your faith. And I hope this message will be able to overcome your fear in your life. To the things that we have discussed, take those steps. Gawin po natin yung mga step na yun. We able to see that. And through us, makita po yan sa atin. People will see. Kaya ba itong mga Kristiyanong ito, no? In the midst of this crisis, they still find hope in their God. And that is true. You know why? Because we believe in those promises. Maybe this, ito po message, maybe some, maybe some of you are listening. Ano ba itong sinasabi niyong peace at hope na yan? Maybe you don't understand this. I'll give you a chance because this hope na binabigay po namin is wala pong, hindi po namin makikita to kundi sa, sa Panginoong Jesus lamang. Sa, sa Diyos. Sa tunay na Diyos. If you don't have this peace and hope, then your life will have a fear. If you want to experience this, the only way to experience this is to believe and accept Christ. When you believe and accept Christ, ibig sabihin nun, sasampalatayanan mo siya. Ibibigay mo yung buhay niya, bubuksan mo yung puso niya, at gagay mo siyang hari ng buhay mo. Then, that's the time you will experience yung peace and hope na binibigay niya. If you want to do that, you can just ask God. Sabi mo, Panginoon, hindi mo patawad ang iyong kasalanan. Tanggapin mo siya. Aminin mo mga kasalanan ka. Sinabi ng Diyos, kung ikaw magsasabi ng kanyang, kung aaminin mo mga kasalanan ka, papatawarin ka niya. No matter what, that's sin. And God will forgive you and love you. Sa atin po, sa atin po mga mananampalataya, to us. This message is for us. Hindi po ako exempted dito. This is for us. For us to be reminded. This is a reminder of God because fear is present at this time. Ito po'y totoo. Fear is present at this time. Ito po'y nandito lang sa atin. Pero God has assured us. God has assured us. God has given us not the spirit of fear. I would like to say that again, that verse. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, and of love, and of a sound mind. That is a promise from God. So, this week, claim that promise. Claim, claim that promise from God. Pray to God. I-accept mo yan. Hindi tayo binigyan ng Diyos ng spirit ng pagkatakot, but pag-asa. And you have to claim that. Tayo manalangin. Aming Ama, salamat po sa inyong pong pangako. In the midst of this crisis, Panginoon, patawarin niyo po kami. Sometimes we have this fear. Panginoon, tulungan niyo po kami na ma-overcome po namin ito. In this situation, alam po namin na kayo po ang may control ng lahat. So, Father God, we ask, we ask, that you be in control. Be, kayo po ang gumalaw sa aming pong mga sarili. Sa, everybody is listening right now, Panginoon. Kayo po mag-control sa sitwasyon. Kayo po mag-control ng gobyerno, sa mga leaders po namin, those people who are uh, taking care, those people who are uh, inaayos to make sure that hindi pa po mag-spread, Panginoon. Be upon them, Lord. Give them wisdom. Give them guidance. Our responsibility, Panginoon, help us also, Lord Father, to fulfill our responsibility. Protect our family, Father, from this virus. We ask, Father, that you continue to provide, Panginoon, yung mga basic necessity po namin. Yung food na kinakain po namin, Father. Indeed, Father, you, you, have, you have been faithful to us, Father. You know, salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong pangako. Salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong presensya. And through this online service, Panginoon, kayo po ay nasa aming kalagitnaan. Ayon niyo pong presensya ay narito, Panginoon. So, Panginoon, kiniklaim po namin lahat 
all the victory, Panginoon, ay galing po lamang sa inyo. The victory that we will overcome this situation. So, Panginoon, ibinibigay po namin lahat ng pasalamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor, for that encouraging message for us this day. Aside from maintaining our priorities during this time, samantalahin din po natin yung pagkakataon na to to serve other Christians. Also, it's very important, during this time, be evangelistic. It's a great time to win people to the Lord. People are going to experience lots of trials. And you, as a member of Global Search Worship Center, take this opportunity to minister to them. Here are the guidelines for our tithes and offerings, giving to missions, and our thank you God, 40 pesos. Luke chapter 21 verses 1 to 4. And he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. So he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. For all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God. But she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Pinagmasda ni Jesus ang mayayamang naguhulog ng pera sa lagyan ng mga kaloob sa templo. Nakita rin niya ang isang mahirap na byuda na naghulog ng dalawang pirasong bariya. Sinabi ni Jesus, sinasabi ko sa inyo ang totoo, mas malaki ang ibinigay ng byudang iyon kaysa sa kanilang lahat, sapagkat silang lahat ay nagbigay galing sa sobra nilang pera. Pero ang byuda ay nagbigay sa kabila ng kanyang kahirapan. Ibinigay niya ang lahat ng ikabubuhay niya. This is a great story of worship through obedience and giving. Kahit nasa kalagitnaan ng mahirap, very challenging situation, the poor widow chose to worship God through her generous giving. Look what Jesus said in verse 3. So he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. Habang ang biya ay nagbibigay ng kanilang tira o sobra mas pinili ng mahirap na biuda na maibigay, ang karapat dapat para sa Diyos. We ourselves have a choice to give and honor God based on what is left. Like the rich in this story, or we will choose to give and honor God even in difficult times like the poor widow. What is happening in our country is happening all over the world. Even in countries where we support missionaries, it's a blessing that we are giving to God. Our worship through obedience is making a greater impact in sharing the gospel even in difficult times. It's a blessing our missionary in Cambodia, missionary Reynel Gonzalez, because of your prayers and faithful giving, even with the challenge of the corona pandemic, they will still continue to share the gospel even more. This is a photo of their youth jam service last March 15 in Cambodia. Wow, God is moving. The gospel is moving and you have a part through your faithful and sacrificial giving. Praise God for the story of the poor widow. Pinili niya na magbigay base sa kanyang puso, hindi base sa tira. Give from the bottom of your heart, not just from the surplus of what we have. After you've deposited your offerings, tithes, missions, and thank you God, 40 pesos, make sure to have a photocopy of your deposit slip or any deposit documents. Thank you for joining us online. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page. Thank you and God bless.